Hey, this is Joey T and Sean McQuillan, your local Green Bay panelist. Welcome to Green Bay. Welcome to Green Bay. <laughs> Sean and I are in Milwaukee. He had a meeting here today and uh, we thought we'd get together and talk some Packer football. We hate that. How's it going today? Pretty good. Yourself? Great, great. Thanks for meeting me here. Yeah, no problem. You know what's so great about it is we're just a couple of fans that just want to talk Packer football. We're no exactly. different than you. We just get together and talk about what's going on right now. So, not the most beautiful day ever, but it's not raining. It's a nice background. Green Bay, I think it's still raining right now. Into it. Sure. Well, it's always a hot subject, and it's our cornerbacks. Yeah. I'm gonna throw this right at you. How do you feel at this point? Recently, there was uh, some information that came out that Coach Joe Witt uh, said that Quentin Rollins is, has been the guy thus far, and I think that surprised a lot of fans. How do you feel about him putting Quentin out there like that? I believe part of that's uh, confidence building. What else are you going to say? I mean, what are you, what are you comparing him to? Yeah. You know, I. It's pretty hard to compare. It could be until to, It could be trying to build him up a little bit too. Why? I mean, I don't think you're going to hear negative things. And if you look thus far in training camp, maybe it's based on that. I mean, really, what we're going to need to see it uh, see it in the regular season. A friend of mine uh, played at St. Cloud, and his coach went from St. Cloud to Miami of Ohio. Miami of Ohio, and <laughs> that's not that easy to say. The interesting part, which a lot of you know, is Quentin Rollins was a basketball player, and the reason he ended his career in college going into his senior year was he could dribble really good but I guess his shooting ability wasn't there and decided at that point to play football and my buddy called his former coach he's like hey what's up with this Quentin Rollins when we draft him he said he's got the best hands he's ever seen in football so he must have really soft hands and you know I was like it was interesting to hear that perspective on it sure. and now you know I think he's uh, being put in an elite category a little bit early on. I think when I look at the secondary I still my concern is overall quarterback right. depth. You know obviously the strong point of the secondary at this point is the safeties. I mean the safety play Green Bay has a strong support safety cast this year. You have the veterans, you have Burnett, you have Clinton Dix, you have Josh Jones, you have Bryce. They a lot of dynamics they didn't have last year. A lot of opportunity to move safeties into linebacker positions should give Dom Capers a lot more arsenal than what he's had in the past. I'm still concerned with the uh, cornerbacks as a whole. Would love to see King um, without any injuries at this point, letting him get more first string reps with the team. Missing OTAs, missing train, missing some training camp. They're still concerned that you know he's got how much experience he's getting before the regular season starts here. Um, Sean, with it, with it, we all know that it is now a, a shoulder injury. How do you feel about that? I mean, when it comes to a cornerback, that's it's a pretty that's a scary injury. injury. Yeah. I mean, Sam Shields had a shoulder injury. It did, you know, kept him from play when it wasn't the concussion thing. So I think it's something to be concerned about. Again, I, he is a very, uh, he's a tall player, good in coverage, but he does still seem a little light up top. And uh, you know, hopefully, it's not something that hinders him throughout the season because. We do want him to get a lot of reps this year, and I don't think you'll see him as a number one, too, but I think uh, in certain situations, you're gonna see him out there quite a bit, if he if he's ready. I mean, yeah. What's it, you know, you don't wanna see And a, unfortunately, we have Montrevious Adams, who's now uh, there you go. a foot fracture of some foot sort. Foot surgery, I think, I believe he's in. listed at six weeks. Jeez. You have Vince Be Beagle on the pup That's list. Crazy. You know, when you look at it, you have three of your, uh, three of your four first round, or, draft picks not playing right now. They're not seizing any season ending injuries, which is good, but it's still a concern for getting these young players the repetition they need. Hopefully they're, uh, they got their noses deep down in the playbook right now, right. gaining everything they can, but that's and still, it still should be somewhat of a concern, not season ending, but. Right, also, you know, they're, they're first year players, they're rookie players, so it's not, it's not like it's the end of the world. Not everybody's expecting them to come in and make an impact. We'd like them to, but that's not always the case. And and again, um, you know, our is Green Bay's defense even with the great things that we're seeing this year? And uh, are they are they still ready to get to that next level this year? And I, I think these young.
defense player is going to be a big part of that in their development, or are we another season behind from where we need to be as a defense? I think time's going to, time will tell for sure. You know, a lot of thing, a lot of times this gets overlooked, and I'm going to bring up Joe Witt again. Is he said not only every year does a guy develop as a player, but it's nice to see them grow as a human being too. Sure. So you know, the maturity thing always helps right. with 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 that. We're going to switch over to offense before we get rained on. <laughs> well, we're getting rained on, so <laughs> it's, too it's late. starting to sprinkle a little bit. Uh, Recently, uh, Randall Cobb came out, and you know he's had his injuries the last few years. Um, he's expected to have a great year, and I, I, it's like he's going to be lining up in the slot. Now you've got the two tight ends, right, Sean? So he's got to be pretty happy about that because that's going to open it up for him as well. Last year, it was there was a, a, some mentioning about Cobb and Everdaris were the best route runners okay. on the team. Everdaris, obviously, is Jared is no longer on the team. But, man, you got to like Cobb's situation right now. Well, you know, I would agree with that. I think uh, he's looked really good in training camp so far, What you want to see. I think if you look at Cobb, though, you got to look at his whole career. Yeah. And injuries have kept him back. And even even when not being injured at times, you know, he hasn't always given you that whole body of work that you, you want to see. Abadera, same thing. The injury, not the same thing, but the injury thing has kept him right. from opportunities, which now he's got to learn completely different systems in Detroit. So I would love to see have Cobb have a great year. I hope he does. But Green Bay is so loaded offensively with wide receiver talent. Go down the list. Dupree, Allison, uh, Adams, I think is going to have a great year. Jordy Nelson is still right there. There's a lot of The offense lot is of scary. The it offense is. is scary. And, I mean, seriously. And still Davis. Is I mean, could this really be the best offense you ever see? In Packer history, I, I actually think it could be that good. If they, if the left tackle spot holds up and they don't get hurt in depth, but I think that the tight ends they added are really going to help that this year. So Jamal Williams, be... I want to talk real quick about sure. him because we're starting to get wet. So, uh, great blocker. Well, he's good at he's good at pass coverage is what you're seeing too, and you've seen him in more some of the first sets in training camp. They're starting to use him more. Montgomery is going to be a great feature but he's still a little behind, I would say, in uh, pass protection. That's probably his Achilles heel right now. So, again, you're probably they're probably looking more at Williams as maybe some of that feature. I guess we'll see. And, and preseason is going to tell a lot, uh, health. But Montgomery uh, has got a lot to pick up. He still is missing this is still, that. This is still his first year. It is. So, really, right. they're all kind of. But he's such a great athlete, you know, and, and it's just, everybody's just waiting for him to explode. He's got a lot on his plate to pick up, but I, you know, I think what you're seeing from Williams, he's, a, he's good at uh, picking up pass blocks. We're so. getting wet. All Are right. we dedicated or what? Take care, DHBF. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Die Hard Packer fan following.